Don't you just hate it when people tell lies? Take this motherfucker for example. I'm gonna be doing a comments based videos on Saturday as well on the comments that have sort of been during the week. So my favorite comments that I like, I'll kind of, you know, shout out on the on the show I put up on, sh on Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday, right, yeah, on Saturday. Can you believe the nerve of this guy? It's now Tuesday and if I hadn't intervened, I mean, who would have shot a video for you guys? Him? Slacking. All right, so let's get into this, yeah? So I dropped a video on my channel last Tuesday where I asked you this question. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comment section below, if you had a company, what would you name it and why? He's a little bit of a handsome dude, you know. Dan from Indie Intellect said, I would name it Overdog's Coffee LLC because it would be the coolest sound drink you could try and everybody would be drinking it so they could be an OD. Okay, I already, I already did name it that so nobody can steal that awesome name, Dan. Now Dan is a true born hustler. I mean, as soon as he thought of that name, he's like, nah, 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 I'm keeping this to myself. And that is exactly what you need to do. Register that. Dory Story said, when I had my shop, it was called Adorable Creations. I was really proud of that brand. That name, Adorable Creations, is the perfect combination of her name and a word that you can't really... Who, who hates on Adorable? You can't really hate on Adorable, you know what I mean? Damn, that's a good name. I mean, that's a really good name. Shit. Bratney says, I've actually been thinking about my company a lot. Yesterday at Home Depot, I signed up as a contractor for deals. My contracting company name was Brit D's. Bratney, as long as you do a mean egg Brit muffin, I am so with you on this one. Now in that same video, I just so happened to mention that a bird shat on me today, look at this. Apparently it's supposed to be lucky. And some of you guys had a little something to say about it. Jessa J said, LOL, why would you keep the jacket on after a bird pooped on you? Nah, there's still bird shit on the jacket. Felix Martinson said, if only that were true, getting pooped on meaning luck, I'd let them do it every day, ha ha ha. Kirk Valentino said, almost at 1k I see, and lol at the bird shit on your jacket. Aria Present said, I didn't know a bird shitting on you was meant to be good luck, ha ha. I guess I should go down to the pier and try and get as much good luck as possible. Lots of love to you, Levi. Love. Love. Only one person was genuinely concerned and I'd like to give a big shout out to the Sharifi life who said A toast to keep your cool, I'll drink to that And these are the operative words Oh no, a bird pooped on you But wait, she could have meant that sarcastically Motherfuckers Last Thursday I dropped a video called Studio Talk and there was a rumour floating about in the comment section that I thought, you know what, I want to put this to rest Saikai RL said Hold up, is that a jib in your room? ZB Vlogs and stuff said, is it me or do you have a jib in your room? Monica Zucks also said, whoa, your studio looks really cool. Thank you, Monica. What kind of camera stand do you have? It moves automatically. Two words that I believe in more than anything as a YouTuber are honesty and transparency. And with that said, you know, I'd like you guys to know, I think it would be a bit of overkill, you know, as beautiful as the shots would be, you know, Having sweeping and panning shots, you know, which would look awesome. I beg your pardon? Anyway, which would look awesome would kind of be overkill. I mean, of course, you know, the ups and downs and all those shots would be nice, but have you seen the size of this room? A jib in this room? Sorry, guys. It's just not feasible. I'm glad I could put all those ugly rumours to rest. I'd just like to thank everybody who leaves comments in my comic section because, you know, I thought I'd do something for you guys every once in a while so you guys can get to know. These guys I've mentioned today are awesome YouTubers, so go to their channel and smash in that subscribe button and check out their content as well. Uh, shout out to my boy Gavin and also shout out to Baz Ollie as well. Thank you very much for all the love and support you guys show me, man. Um, yeah, and I'm sorry I couldn't mention everybody, but I just want to say thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys on Thursday. If you've come across this channel for the first time, smash in that subscribe button, thumbs up this video, and leave me a comment down below telling me whether I should do more of these comment section based videos. Also, share the fuck out of this video. Yeah. Um, peace and love, people. Keep your cool. I'm Lee to the VI, and we're out.